So this is what I have set up so far for my display table. I just ordered a vinyl banner with my logo and company name and I just got it in the mail so I'll be installing that today. Um, it's made out of cedar that I repurposed from a job and these rails right here can hold the jars so that the wind can blow and the jars don't blow over and these holes right here are cut out especially for some metal buckets that I have. So as you can see, I can put a jar right in there. It's not going anywhere. The wind can't get it. And then my metal bucket can fit right in here nice and tight. And here I have my vinyl banner. It's pretty big. It's uh, three foot wide, inch and a half. I'm sorry, a foot and a half tall. So I'm going to be installing this banner on the front so that it dangles over the front. And there's no holes in the corners, but that's okay. I can drill holes and use screws at an angle like that to mount this banner so that I can take it on and off of the table. And this wasn't too bad. It was like $22 with shipping. I don't remember the company I bought it from, but I think there's a lot of printing companies out there and it took, I think, two weeks. It wasn't too bad. So I didn't show the actual drilling part on camera because I needed two hands. But as you can see, I centered my sign and kind of made it nice and stretched across the front, angled the screws. And, you know, either I can just unscrew it and screw it in every time I go to the market or just drill a bigger hole around there so I can pull it off. I haven't decided yet, but the big nice thing is that I have a vinyl banner across the front with my logo on it. I think that'll add some professionalism to my stand. I think I gotta find a way to make this thing a little straighter though. Maybe if I stretch it out and have something hold it stretched, that might work. So I have a chalk sign here um, that tells customers the prices and I usually write fresh grown flowers on it and this is just a simple chalk sign from Walmart and I have a 2x4 pushed in the hole propped up at an angle to hold that up and usually it doesn't fall in the wind sometimes you get a strong wind gust but usually it's held in there pretty good although going forward I think I might want to move my sign over here to the side so that I can display more flowers and it's not getting in the way of these buckets. So here's the display right here in full effect. Um, I want to get some string lights to go around the border of the table. And I think the string lights would just add a little kind of wedding feel, like a, a farmhouse type wedding, kind of like this theme going on. Maybe not the big bulbs like that, maybe the smaller string lights, but with a warm glow. Because, um, you know, the wedding feel gives it that luxurious kind of image. And with the wood, with the string lights, gives it that kind of farmhouse, rustic. And, and mixing the two together, I think, is a really popular image that would really help flowers sell. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.